Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the black oak. Black oak, Quercus velutina, is a common tree of the red oak group. It is sometimes called yellow oak, quercitron oak, dyer's oak, or yellow bark oak. Black oak is a medium to large sized tree that typically grows 60 to 80 feet tall with a 2 to 3 foot diameter. However, on good forest sites it may grow more than 120 feet tall and have a 4 foot diameter. Trees typically have an irregular crown and a tapering trunk. Trees can live to be about 150 to 200 years old. The wood is often marketed as red oak and the acorns are an important wildlife food. Black oak is widely distributed throughout the eastern and central United States. It is a common component of the eastern and central upland deciduous forest, but also occurs in savannas in that transition zone between the eastern deciduous forest and the western prairies. Black oak is found on a wide variety of sites, from dry ridges to moist coves, with the best growth on moist, rich, well-drained soils. However, it tends to be more abundant in the drier soils of the south and west upper slopes and ridges. Black oak is classed as intermediate in shade tolerance. It is less tolerant than white and chestnut oak, and it's about the same as northern and scarlet oak. Black oak is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged simple leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are typically 4 to 10 inches long, obovate or ovate in shape, and they usually have 5 but sometimes 7 bristle-tipped lobes. The leaves growing in the shade typically have shallow sinuses like the leaf at the top, and the leaves growing in the sun typically have deep sinuses, the leaf on the bottom. Those are the sinuses or the indentations. The leaves are green above and pale below with fuzzy pubescence. Young leaves are usually reddish and very velvety, and fall color is dull red to orange. Black oak is monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are in yellow-green drooping catkins. You can see in the photo on the left the yellow arrows. Those are pointing to the male flowers. The female flowers are reddish and in short spikes in the leaf axils. The photo on the left, the white arrows are pointing to the female flowers. And then the photo on the right is a close-up of the female flower. The flowers bloom in spring between April and May, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is an ovoid or egg-shaped acorn that's about one-half to three-fourths inches long, with a bowl-shaped cap that covers one-third to one-half of the acorn. They are brown when mature and slightly fuzzy. The acorns mature in two growing seasons and ripen in late summer and fall and then drop. They will germinate the following spring. The acorns are disseminated or dispersed by gravity and wildlife, including squirrels, mice, and blue jays. Both rodents and birds often cache or store the acorns in the soil. Trees begin seed production around 20 years, with best production between 40 and 75 years. Black oak is a consistent seed producer with good crops every two to three years. Black oak also regenerates via stump sprouting, but does so less frequently than northern scarlet and chestnut oak. The bark of black oak is smooth and gray on young oaks but becomes thick and rough with deep vertical furrows and horizontal breaks. The bark also darkens to nearly black. The inner bark is yellow-orange. The wood of black oak is light to medium reddish-brown in color, though there can be a fair amount of variation in color. Black oak falls into the red oak group and shares many of the same traits as northern red oak Quercus rubra. Black oak is ring porous like other oaks. Ring porous wood has vessels in the early wood, the wood that's formed early in the growing season, that are distinctly larger than those in the late wood, the wood that's formed later in the growing season, of one growth ring. Ring porous structure is mainly present in regions with distinct seasons. Black oak has two to four rows of large early wood vessels and numerous small late wood vessels, which create a distinct and easily seen growth ring. Tylosis is absent in the pores as with the red oak group, and you can see comparison between red oak, in this case black oak, and white oak in the photos. Red oak, such as black oak, do not have the level of decay and rot resistance that white oak does. Black oak is an important wildlife tree. The acorns provide food for a variety of wildlife, including squirrels, mice, white-tailed deer, and wild turkey. In fact, a high percentage of the acorns are eaten by wildlife, leaving a low number of seeds for regeneration. The trees have high cavity value for wildlife as well. They are important nest sites for the northern flicker in Massachusetts.
Black oak wood is commonly grouped with other red oak wood and is used for construction lumber, cabinetry, furniture, interior trim, flooring, veneer, fence posts, railroad ties, and firewood. The national champion black oak is in Hartford, Connecticut. It's 347 inches in circumference, 78 feet tall, with an 89-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion black oak is in Boyd County. It's 232 inches in circumference, 108 feet tall, with a 207-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about black oak. The black oak's common name refers to its nearly black bark. The oak's inner bark is a deep yellow or deep orange and was used to make a yellow dye for cloth called quercitron, which is where black oak gets several of its other common names, including dyer's oak, quercitron, and yellow bark oak. The scientific genus named Quercus is Latin for oak, and the species name Velutina is derived from the Latin word vellus, which means fleece, wool or down, and refers to the velvety winter buds and young foliage. Thanks for joining me to learn about the black oak. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodlands, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful black oak.